Here we're going to look at a couple examples on how to multiply binomials. So binomials is a polynomial that has two terms. Most of the time you see them um, kind of in parentheses where you have the first term plus or minus the second term. So when you multiply them together it means you're going to multiply both of them um, together and we have uh, two ways that we can do that. The first way is if you have two individual binomials. The second is if you have one binomial and you're multiplying it by a constant. Okay. So first and foremost, if we look at this first example right here, this is called the FOIL method. FOIL tells you the order in which you multiply. So F stands for first, so it would be the first terms that you multiply together. O is outer, so it's the outermost terms then you have your innermost terms and your last terms. Now when you distribute, which is what we do with the second example, we're going to distribute this um, A or this constant on the outside through our parentheses. So it gets applied to both terms and then this is what it comes out as. So what I have is I have two examples here that we're going to look at real quick just so you can see how to multiply those binomials together. Now of these two methods, the FOIL method is the more complicated, so both of these examples deal with um, that idea. So here we're going to go ahead and FOIL, so we're going to multiply the two of these together. And so here we've got FOIL, so I'm going to go ahead and use some colors to try and help. So first we have your F, which is your first, so we're going to multiply the first two terms together. So this is going to be X times X. Then we're going to add it to the next set. So here we'll go ahead and this is going to be your outermost set. So these two terms. So this is going to be X times 7. We're going to add it to your next, your innermost terms. So those are these right here. So this is going to be negative 4 times x. And we're going to add it to the last terms that we have. So these terms here. So this is going to be negative 4 times 7. Okay. So once we do that, we're going to do the math. So x times x is going to be x squared. Then we have x times 7, which is a 7x, minus a 4x, and then minus 28. We're going to combine your like terms together so the end result becomes x squared plus a 3x minus 28. Now in this next one we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did. So again we're going to start with your first. So we're going to do the 5x times your 3x. So just like before this is 5x times a 3x. Then you're going to add it to your next. So we're going to do the outers. So these are the outer two most terms. So in this case we're now going to have the 5x times the negative 2. We're going to add it to the next in your list, which is your innermost terms. So these two on the inside. So this is 8 times my 3x and we're going to add it to your last terms. So these outer two right here. So this is going to be 8 times a negative 2. And then just like before, we're going to actually do the math and combine your like terms. So in this first one here, we're going to multiply the numbers together. So 5 times 3 is 15. x times x is x squared. Then we have 5 times negative 2, so this is a minus 10x. 8 times 3 gives you plus 24x. 8 times negative 2 makes it minus 16. And then again, just like before, we've got to combine the middle terms here. So this becomes 15x squared plus a 14x minus 16. And that, in a nutshell, is everything that you need to know in order to 
foil or multiply some binomials together. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.